How's it going everyone? Brutal Slime here. So today we're going to take a look at uh, Temi Launcher version 2.0.0 uh, which is uh, an interface, a uh, user interface for the PlayStation 4 emulator FPPS4. Now this is still a work in progress and the developer is still working on it. So you will encounter a lot of bugs and many things may not function correctly for you. So let's just go ahead and start the tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do is extract the launcher itself, uh, the Temi Launcher 2.0.0. We're going to extract it here. And then we're going to go to the FPPS4 folder. This is the emulator. So we're going to go to the launcher and we're going to double click on the FPPS4 Temi Launcher 2.0.0, this one. So it creates new folders. Now, when you get to the screen here, it will tell you to uh, press X to update. Uh, it does not update, uh, so that's one of the bugs. Uh, it's better to set it up manually. You can see here that it create, uh, created an FPPS4 folder and a games folder. Now, I'm just going to go to the emulator and I'm going to drag and drop them to the FPPS4 folder. As you can see, now we're just going to go back here to the games and we're going to cut all of those games as you can see they are extracted those are fake packages that have been uh, extracted we're gonna cut those games and we're gonna paste them in the launcher games folder all right now we're done with this step now all we have to do is go to the emulator uh, the launcher and we're gonna double click on it give it a second and you should see the uh, logo which is number four see this means it has been set up correctly okay now when you get to this screen you can press uh, the WASD to scroll up and down between games or you can press number two which is the PS button you can go to the settings about exit and if you go one more step to the left you will not be able to go back even if you use circle which is becomes number six so you cannot go back so this is one of the bugs to get out of this screen you simply press tab and you're back to the settings so let's go to the settings and see what's there but before we go to the settings let's just go to the games down here okay now if you press number four which is the uh, square button you can enable the hacks now there's uh, I'm not sure when this was added but there's a new hack I think new hacks so anyway you can just enable the hacks for games to make them work some games do not work without hacks uh, for me for example tiny troopers here you will need to add those five hacks to get uh, better frame rates uh, Flynn this one also did not work for me. I have to use the first two hacks and Sonic does not need any hacks. Anyway, let's go back to the settings to take a look at what's in here. So this is the interface. Uh, we have an option to select the language, an option to uh, select how the games appear, game list mode. We have a list, games will appear on top of each other. This is the default as you can see it, as you've seen it before. The compact which makes all of the apps appear in a vertical list, but they take place less space and the Orbis which is like the PlayStation 4 uh, home screen. Let's go ahead and try the compact first, but the two options are basically the same. This is also another bug. So as we can see here, small circles uh, small uh, icons we're going to go back to the settings again and we're going to go to the games list set it to orbis and it looks just the same so this is supposed to look like the ps4 and you can scroll through the games horizontally but it's still, still not working properly yet going back to the settings here to the interface display a clock on the games list Set this option active to display the clock on top right corner. Top right corner. Let's try it out. Okay, there is no clock. <laughs> All right. Interface, we can change the color. 
based set in uh, a custom theme JSON and games list search mod we can search the games either by their name or by their title ID it's best to set it to title name okay video options here we have uh, a resolution which is basically from 720p to 4k you can change the resolution but it is recommended to stay at 720p uh, for now uh, start the launcher in full screen uh, this will start the launcher uh, in full screen mod when you start the launcher toggle full screen mod this will uh, toggle the screen to full screen pressing it again will go to uh, the window screen so the buttons here are number five for the X number eight is the triangle number six is the uh, square uh, number six is the circle and number four is the square number two is the PS button and WASD is basically the left joystick now let's take a look at the other settings the paths here you can see the FPPS4 path which is the path to the emulator you can find the EXE if you cannot find the FPPS4 EXE you can just go ahead and choose where it is the default games path cannot be changed but you can add a new games path start FPPS4 in full screen mod this is similar to the other options so I'm not sure why it's here input select icon style for FPPS4 launcher here you can see the dual sense the dual shock 4 and the Xbox 360 it's best to set it to dual shock 4 enable game pad rumble on launcher okay updater now this here lots of these are not working so uh, enable FPPS4 updates enable the launcher updates use the nightly link force update uh, FPPS4 force update launcher so if you press any of these it will not work but it it would be much better uh, later it will come very handy here you can just update the uh, emulator from within the launcher you don't have to go to github and download the emulator by yourself and then manually copying and pasting it the uh, launcher will automatically uh, get the uh, the emulator from the github uh, branch here you can select which branch the emulator is on usually uh, it's more than one branch maybe there's main now for fps4 and there's trunk right now trunk is the one that's being updated uh, browse github actions uh, in the github actions you can find the newest builds uh, of the emulator display current us for version info also not working accessibility adjust the interface size miscellaneous here you can reset the launcher settings reset the game settings if you have set uh, multiple hacks and your game is messed up for one reason or another you can just reset the game settings here and here you can just reload the launcher and it will be uh, closing and then it will launch again now this is another bug if you press this it will reload but it will be black screen it will not launch again so these settings here are not working I've tried them all yeah so this is basically everything for now for this launcher uh, let's go ahead and try to launch one of the games uh, I cannot I cannot go to any of these games if they are in this uh, vertical view mode so I have to switch to the list mode so I can choose a game list all right we're gonna go back to the list okay so this is Sonic Mania let's go ahead and launch it Okay.
try another game for example tiny troopers I'm gonna show you how it works without the hacks now you can just watch the frame rates on the top this is this is just for testing as you can see frame rates are two and it's not launching. Now I'm just gonna press square, which is number four. I'm gonna enable all of those hacks. The fifth, the fifth five hacks, okay. Now we're gonna launch it. And you will notice the difference immediately. The frame rates went up to 60. And the game is launching. Now if you have a controller, you can just go ahead and start the game. But if you have a keyboard, this will not work. So the keyboard is not working for me. You need a controller to be able to uh, play the game. That's it. That's it for, the, uh, for this video. Just wanted to take a look at this uh, work in progress uh, interface for the PlayStation 4 emulator FPPS4. Uh, that's it for me and uh, take care. I will see you soon should anything else new comes up. Take care. See ya.